YouTube and almost post 1975. You know, it's funny, isn't it? How things sort of have a bad habit of getting away from you. You know, you have the best intentions in the world. You have a plan you intend to adhere to 100%. And yet somehow, something always finds a way. Your brain finds sort of some means to justify drifting away from your original battle plan and spending more money and purchasing something that you not, did not intend to do so in the first place. Anyway, long story short, right? I found that bag of PlayStation goodness the other day. So I went downtown this morning with a single objective of picking up a PlayStation 1. Now I saw a couple of them. Um, a couple of people left comments on that video saying, you know, like a tenner is a reasonably good price. I saw like uh, three of them for like 9 uh, one pad, uh, power unit, TV leads, no memory cards, which I kind of thought was a bit sucky. And I thought before, I thought, you know, that's exactly what I want. It was the kind of little cute one as well. And I thought, well, you know what? I'll just have a look in cashies. So I went in cash converters, yeah. And um, basically, long story short, I picked up this. Yeah, it's a uh, PlayStation 2 Slim. I fully intended on buying a PlayStation 1. I really, really did. You know, I, I had no intention of collecting PlayStation 2 games. He says, but we'll get to that in a minute. You know, it's not a system I want to collect for, but I don't know, it was 25 quid, and for 15 quid extra, plus it came with a memory card, for 15 quid extra, my brain just went, well, you know, you can play PlayStation 1 games on it. They might even look a little bit better, because it's got filters and stuff, hasn't it? Which I guess, as a purist, is kind of, you know, I'm slightly drifting away from the purpose of collecting for the PlayStation 1. But I don't know, my brain just kind of justified it in the sense that it said, you know, you, you afford yourself the luxury, should you ever intend to change your mind, you can collect for the PlayStation 2, which I do not intend to collect for. Oh, so um, I picked up a game in Cashies as well. It was really cool as well. It was really, really nice to be able to walk around the second-hand stores and uh, the, the charity shops and look for games in the wild. Because when you have systems, you know, like I do, like the Jap Mega Drive, the PC Engine, and the Turbo Graphics, I never get to experience buying games in the wild. I mean, all right, current gen I can, but you know what I mean, like older systems and retro systems. I just, I don't get that experience of purchasing games for them in the wild. So that was kind of cool. So um, I got this in Cashies. This was the other thing, by the way. What a unique experience to be able to buy a game over the counter with a quid, you know, and receive a game and change. That was a really kind of unique and new thing to me. But yeah, so I picked this up for a quid in Cashies. It was Gran Turismo. Yeah, it has seen better days, but, you know, it's Gran Turismo. All right, 2 is my favourite driving game ever, but it's Gran Turismo. What was funny, though, right, the case, yeah. When the kiddie behind the counter served me and he picked it up, the case just clattered all over the counter. And he just looked at it and laughed and went, dude, <laughs> your case is fucked. And, all right, it's a quid, I know, but I was kind of like, oh, no, it's 75p. But, yeah, it's like, wow, mate, seriously, 75p or not, you might want to work on your um, customer service skills. Anyway, um, yeah, so obviously pad, leads, and I got them to swap out PlayStation 2 memory card and give me PlayStation 1 memory card, because as I said, I have no intention of buying any PlayStation 2 games. So I picked up a few other games, I picked up uh, the original Ridge Racer, while I have Revolution. It's the original Ridge Racer. What was it? Oh, it's 49p. The original Ridge Racer, you know, you can't go wrong with them apples. So many fond memories of this. And I picked up... Soul Blade. Now I've never played a PAL version of Soul Blade. I had Soul Edge. All I know is, isn't this censored? Isn't the staff or the nunchucks or something changed? I don't know. But again, this was well, oh, this was a whopping 199. That was a bit steep. But yeah, it's Soul Blade. I mean, what's not to love? And last but not least, as I said, I had no intention of buying any PlayStation 2 games, so I bought this. Yeah, it's the Hobbit. I've never played it. It looks cool as fuck on the back. If it's not, people don't leave a comment. I want this to be a surprise. As I said, like I don't want to collect the PlayStation 2. It's The Hobbit. I love Lord of the Rings. I love The Hobbit. I love Tolkien. How could you possibly fuck up The Hobbit? Touch wood. Please don't say they fucked up The Hobbit. You can fuck up The Hobbit, you know? So, yeah, there you go. Um, I've got some PlayStation 1 goodness coming my way. I'm going to cane the crap out of these and all those games from the bag the other day tonight. Maybe a pinch of The Hobbit. But yeah, can't wait. <laughs> it's 90s time in my world tonight. So yeah, game on for the PlayStation 1. I'll see you later.